Case so boom, dropping pig on my cousin. One out of the three. So it's early in the morning. I'm cool and I'm chilling. I'm getting ready to go to the family reunion. You know what I'm saying? I'm family reunion fresh. You know what I'm saying? My family been going back and forth about what colors we gonna wear. You know what I'm saying? What the front gonna look like? What the back look like? I don't even care. Just hurry up and let's get the ball rolling because all of our cousins from out of town is coming out here. And all the cousins around my age, we all ready to get together so we can say, cuh, cuh, cuh. you see them right there? You see them right there? You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm ready to get to the family reunion for them purposes, them purposes only. So what I'm saying? So we get we get to the family reunion, right? We pull up, skirt, it's packed out here. I got cousins from Columbus, Cleveland, Detroit, they from Edward, Michigan. They done came from all over and listen to me. I don't consider you my cousin. We didn't grow up together. We ain't slept in the bed together. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got in no little fights, no little tussles. You know what I'm saying? We ain't went to the candy store, stole something together. You know what I'm saying? I don't got none of your secrets. You don't got none of my secrets. We ain't got keeping secrets for each other. You, 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 you most definitely ain't family. If I can't pull up on you and be like, hey, hey, what cuz over here cooking? You know what I'm saying? You most definitely ain't consider family. If I can't come over your house, hit the door, pow, cuz what y'all doing? Go straight in your refrigerator. Hey, look, hey, who, hey, who apple juice is it, cuz? If you ain't considered my cousin. If you ain't stayed all night with me when we were growing up, you probably done peed in the bed. You know what I'm saying? I done peed in the bed. We done took a bath together or something like that. You most definitely ain't considered the family. So when we get to the very you, you know what I'm saying? It's packed out here. You know what I'm saying? I walk my little bow legged tail up there. You know what I'm saying? Got my little swag on. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a crush. I'm probably going to have a crush on a couple of my cousins, right? So when I get up here, First thing I got to go do is pay honor to the OG. You know what I'm saying? Granny up here chilling. Granny looking good. Look like she done sprayed some of that S-curl in her hair. Granny, granny hair was always shiny. You know what I'm saying? But granny, granny was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? She got that trim, that trim, the open, open face. You know what I'm saying? With the little grill. You know what I'm saying? Teeth looking like she, you know what I'm saying? Got them barnies in her mouth. I ain't talking about this veneer big teeth stuff that they got going on to, the, to this day. You know what I'm saying? Granny had them real slugs in her mouth. You know what I'm saying? Her hair, you know what I'm saying? Wave, she got that real deal, you know what I'm saying? Granny sitting up there, she got the cane, so she just sitting up there posted, right? So I walk up to her, hey, Granny, what you got going on? You know what I'm saying? And Granny treated me different than anybody in the family. You know, everybody in the family will probably say the same thing about their Granny, like they Granny treated them special, like they was the favorite. Listen, I was the favorite. And I know for a fact I was the favorite. And I was the favorite probably for a variety of different things. Probably because she knew I was a little off in the head, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little crazy, you know what I'm saying? She, she, so she had to show me a different kind of love, you know what I'm saying? I had, I had, I had to get a different kind of attention than everybody else, and to me that made me the favorite. So when I came around, her smile was brighter, you know what I'm saying? Her, her, her energy was different, you know what I'm saying? Her spirit always lit up when she seen me, according different than everybody else, you know what I'm saying? They was a little jealous of that, and I know there's some family watching it. Yeah, I know y'all was a little jealous of my relationship with my grand. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Lord, where's her soul? You know what I'm saying? Listen, check this out, check this out. So I walk up to her. She says, she, hey, baby, what you doing? I ain't doing nothing, Grand. I'm just chilling. So I go to give my grand a hug. As I go to give my grand a hug, I look over to the side. And, 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 and I can't, I'm not even going to be able to enjoy the family reunion the way I really want to enjoy this family reunion. For what? For what thing? Why, why, why is she even here? Then, see, my daddy, my daddy had this girl that he used to deal with. You know what I'm saying? She was cool to a certain extent. But but she started crossing the line when she come into the very union. She ain't raised us. She ain't been around with us. She ain't been caught with me. She ain't picked me up on no weekend home passes when I was in the group home. The only thing she done did is ride with her. Ed and I didn't want to go to my auntie to go see my daddy. You know what I'm saying? She ain't done nothing. She ain't raised us. My mama done raised us alone. Not only is she sitting up in the family reunion, she's sitting next to Granny. Wait, wait, wait a hold on now, wait a minute. Now I know you've been riding with my daddy for 10 years while he been in the penitentiary. So it make you feel like you know what I'm saying, you in the family. Commercial break me, please. I know a lot of people said 10 years. He just, she rode with my pops for 10 years. And see, what most people don't understand is when men go to prison, they wonder why women ride with them. It's because men get, you know what I'm saying? They they reach a different level of maturity when they in the penitentiary. And women who've been dealing with men, I heard 
in the free world, you know what I'm saying, it's a different kind of communication. You know what I'm saying? The intellectual, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's different when a man's sitting down in prison. You know what I'm saying? Then when he get in touch with his emotional side, you know what I'm saying? Because he understand, he he understand on a different level the need of a woman and the, the care he should have for a woman when he's sitting behind that fence versus men who out here and feel like, oh, they got options so they don't treat the one like she sh should be, like she's the only one because they feel like they just free and that. And see, that's why most women end up when they talk to men in prison. That's how they fall in love with men in prison. And people, I don't understand that. I never date a man in prison. But you keep dating these men out here who miss, who abuse you verbally, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, take advantage of you. And then, then, then you wonder why. So bitches, when you judge who you judge and why you judge because you never understand. Because the heart won't what it won't. What, 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 what. But she had been right on my dad. But one thing for sure, two things for sure. She wasn't supposed to be at the family reunion. I was already upset that when my granddaddy passed away, they had her name on the obituary. My mama name wasn't even on the obituary. This is strike two. And guess what? You out. You don't even get a strike. There ain't no one, two, ain't no three. We ain't even gonna make it to three. It just ain't. This is strike two. You was finna get up out of here. So my granddad, she always drinking her cranberry juice, you know what I'm saying? She got a little cup to the side. And I, I said it right in front of granny. Granny done had a, a few indiscretions moments with me. You know what I'm saying? Commercial break me, please, one more time. Like one day, we up my granddad. We up my granddad house, right? We sitting in here, we all chilling, you know what I'm saying? My brother at the time, biggest dope boy in the city, you know what I'm saying? I'm biggest dope boy, slash little, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm little, little, little dope boy, you know what I'm saying? Big boy, jack boy, you know what I'm saying? And my uncle was up there. But see, my uncle had a little break. You know what I'm saying? My uncle was almost a little millionaire. Might have been a millionaire at the time. He got the big boy rolling. He done pulled up in the big boy truck. You know what I'm saying? Dude ain't never did nothing for us. Dude ain't never came to see us. The only thing that man did was go to YMCA and, and, and take these jumpers to his face. That's the only thing Uncle done did. Other than that, Uncle ain't did nothing. He ain't called to see about us, the, all the promises he done made. He ain't, he, he, he ain't did none of that. So we sitting up here, we talking one day, we kicking it or whatever, you know what I'm saying? He talking to us, we talking back, we conversing, we having a whole little conversation. But the conversation started getting heated. My auntie had went back in the bathroom, she had went back in the back, she had to go use the bathroom. And while my brother was talking, my uncle gonna tell my brother to shut up. And when he said that to my brother, he not knowing I'm the monster. I'm the muscle. I'm him. And then when he said that, my, the expression on my brother said, and then my brother kept on talking as if he didn't hear him, as if it's exactly what my brother was supposed to do. So when my brother came, he said, shut up. He said, I'm the one with the education. He said, ain't that one of y'all that did this and did that and did it, did it, did it. I got this business, I got that business. He not even knowing. I got that iron on me, even at Granny House. Listen, I go, I go to church with that iron on me, sit next to my mama at church with that iron on me. When they pass the collection plate, I, I got that iron on me. So when he say that, I raise up out of, I said, I said, hey, my boy, hey, who you think you talking to? He gonna tell me, sit down. I said, listen to me. You see that roller you got? I said, you don't even know me like that, homie. I said, I'll up on you right now. Take the roll up off your wrist. I said, not only am I going to take the roll up off your wrist, I'm going to then tell you, tell, bring them, them, them keys to your truck on up out your pocket. And, and after you come out of your right pocket, go in your left pocket or in your back pocket or wherever it is and pull that wallet out for me. Let me get whatever green did me you got up in there. Don't nothing need to move right now but the money and the jewelry and the wallet. Do you understand me? And when I said all that, my granny sitting in the living room, she's sitting in, her, she sitting in, the, in, the, in the OG chair where she always sit in where nobody else can't sit. Up. And, and I heard the chair squeak a little bit. And she uh, turned her head, you know what I'm saying? I was kind of nervous, but at the same time, I promise you, I'm finna do it to him in here, Granny. Granny said, what's going on back there? I said, ain't nothing going on. Something about to go on, though. By that time, my auntie come out of the back. She said, boo, what is you in here doing? What y'all in here talking about? I said, I don't know who dude think he dealing with. I said, auntie, he don't even know us like that. He gonna come in here talking about what he got and what he can do. Tell my brother to shut up. I said, man, he fix his mouth to act like he finna say shh. A long time won't up on him in here. Yeah, I promise. It's gonna go down in Granny House. Granny said, uh-uh. You, you can't do that in here, boo. You can't do that in there. I said, I know it, Granny. I said, but he get disrespectful like that again, Granny. Granny, you're going to be missing one. You're going to be missing one. We're going to bury one. You know, <laughs> we're going to take this out. Take this out. So I'm, <laughs> so, so I'm at the family reunion. I'm cool. And I see, you know what I'm saying, Granny, she, like I said, she always drinking that cranberry juice. You know what I'm saying? And Granny know how I get off the church. So when I <laughs> when I, I said, I said, I said what, what's she doing here? I say it out loud, but I ain't really talking to Granny. I do Granny. I said, what's she doing here? My granny said, ah, 
Don't worry about it. Just, just enjoy yourself. We all family. Granny, love you to them. No disrespect. I'll do. I said, Granny, she ain't family. She ain't family. How? How? How she family? The girl got the nerve to bust out and say, boo, don't start that today. Don't start what? By that time, she ain't even real life. I done reached for granny cranberry juice. I said, don't start what? I'm finna, look, penitentiary rules is in effect right now, even on the streets. I'm about to dash. That's the that's the lingo they use in the penitentiary. See, when you on master security and them folks playing with your fool, playing with med call, playing with med, playing with mail call, playing with bring you that phone, playing with bring taking you out direct, playing any kind of penitentiary game. See what they do is they 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 pee and they put their feces in in the cup. When you come through playing to them, they pop their flat. <laughs> they gonna dash you. She about to get dashed right now. So I said, I said, don't start. Splash to listen to me. The splash jump up off her psh, psh, and get on granny. Granny, boo, what is you doing? By that time, my auntie said, What is you doing? Why is you doing? I said, Man, what is she doing here? I ain't even, baby, ain't nobody. She don't even supposed to be here. Y'all talking about what I'm doing is she don't even supposed to be here. Why is she sitting beside my granny anyway? You need to go on down there to the car. You, I ain't even getting to, to check my cousins out. I'm not even getting to look at them. I don't, you know, I ain't even got to scan the, 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 the scenery yet. I done seen a bunch of little light skin, little thick, little petite junks walk around here. A couple of BBWs looking nice and everything. They done got their hair together. Everybody want to listen to me. I ain't even getting that joy. Them folks kicking me out the family reunion. Go on, go on. You need to go on to the car. Man, she need to get to the car. She need to go to the car before. How y'all ain't addressing this woman yet? What, what, what? I don't understand. Boo. Go on down. There. You ain't got to worry about it. I'm finna go down here and get in the car and get that ass. I'm gonna air it out out here at Travis Price Park. And when I pop, 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 I'm gonna send the police out here. Everybody gonna go home. That, that's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. So look, check this out. So I go on to the car, I sit in the car, I'm, I'm mad as hell. You know what I'm saying? I can't look at my allegedly cousins or nothing. I can't eat. Man, I want some food. They got their chest pie up there. You know what I'm saying? They got chest square. They got the deviled eggs up there. They got the, listen to them. They got the, man, they got the chicken and grass, chicken and dressing. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a couple of my cousins done brung that unnecessary macaroni and cheese up there. I'm trying to enjoy the family union. You know what I'm saying? And then as I'm sitting, I get out the car. I'm sitting on the hood of the car. Guess what they saw playing? Cha cha now, y'all. Doom to do, do, do to do, do to do. Now turn it out. Do, 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 do now, now, do, do. Take it back now, y'all. Do, do. Here, God, do, do. This woman is up here, cha cha, with the family. I'm gonna definitely about to air it out of her. She ain't gonna be cha cha. <laughs> so I so, 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 you know what? I'm finna go on and roll. So I roll right. Get, get on up out of there. Couple of days go back, right? Couple of days go back. I'm walking down the street, you know what I'm saying? My homeboys, you know what I'm saying? They playing football or whatever. The girls, they, they out there. U-G-L-Y, you ain't got no alibi, you ugly. Yeah, yeah, you ugly. U-G-L-Y, you ain't got no alibi, you ugly. They out there cutting up, you know what I'm saying? And when the girls out there, when we were younger, you know what I'm saying? We get to cutting up with their ball, you know what I'm saying? Because all of us got a crush on one, one of them got a crush on us. We probably got a crush on each other, you know what I'm saying? So we out here flexing with the ball. So then it's a pack of girls get to walking down the street. I see a little light skin, a little red jump, little red bone, little jump. I'm talking about Balier tall, got nice, beautiful hair. I'm talking about had a little boot on and everything, you know what I'm saying? She walking with the fam. She walking with the fam. But one thing was your two things, sir. Oh, she wasn't in the family. You know? She wasn't. So when I said, I said, man, you know what I'm saying? So when we get there, you know, my, my homeboy, you know what I'm saying? We all kind of matters, you know what I'm saying? Sun going down a little bit. My homeboy, y'all want to play high, go get it. Of course. I ain't even feel like nobody else in there. Yeah, what we doing? You know what I'm saying? Put everybody put everybody put your put your foot in, you know what I'm saying? Bubblegum, bubblegum in the dish. You know what I'm saying? I'm in pieces, do you wish? You know what I'm saying? How, how we need to do this? What how we, you know what I'm saying? What we need to do, cause uh I know who I'm finna chase around. I don't know how y'all play hide go get it. I don't know if y'all ever play hide go get it. You know what I'm saying? But it's the same thing as hide and seek. But when the boys going to find the girl, when you find the girl, you get to, you know what I'm saying? You get to, you get the drought, you get the clothes burn a little bit. I mean, what we doing? Who going first? Put your bubble gum, bubble gum in dish. How many pieces do you? Oh, okay. 
Okay, okay. So we going first. So I get to go first. Okay, okay. Y'all go ahead. I'm finna, I'm finna go over here to the tree. You know what I'm saying? I get on the tree. Don't be peeking, neither. Ain't nobody peeking. Y'all go on and go high. You know what I'm saying? One. I'm, I'm on the count of seven. I'm on the count of seven. Now you gotta count to ten, man. I'm counting seven, man. Y'all been here up behind. One, two, boom. I get to go fine. I'm not looking for nobody but this little red bone junk. You know what I'm saying? I, ugh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I popped one of the car doors open, you know what I'm saying, in my homeboy y'all. You know what I'm saying? It did work. You know what I'm saying? I, ugh, when I, I don't know, why would you get in the car for? I get in the car, get when she down in the dashboard. Oh, I ain't got to do nothing but tap you. Oh, got you, got you. What, what we doing? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh You cheated. You seen me get in here. Who seen you get in here? What is you talking about? So I get the clothes burning a little bit. She clothes burning me back. So they see the cop kind of rocking over here. My oldest cousin. Literally, this is a true story. My oldest cousin come up. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Y'all is cousins. Who? Evidently, she didn't know, and if she did know, she didn't tell me. And the reason why she didn't tell me if she did know is because she got the same kind of crush on me. You know what I'm saying? So, evidently, I said, well, how? Because I ain't never seen her. She stay in the city. Now, you remember they used to live up the street from y'all? No. Her mama is such and such. You know her brother is such and such. I ain't never seen them folk. Never. When? Do they go to school with us? They ain't never been down to my house. I ain't never seen them over. Well, you know, when they... When they got old, you know, they mama, whatever was going on, they moved to Nashville, they be